Good morning everybody, it's Paul from Micrographics. We're an Autodesk reseller in Cape Town, South Africa. I'd like to present you something that I learned recently by a question of one of my students and that is in Civil 3D, if you have a surface or surfaces rather within your project and you would like to differentiate clearly between them is there a way that you can override the colors of the contours that are being used? As a beginning for the discussion, let's have a look at the layer properties that are applied to the typical Civil 3D layers. This is an American or template based on an American file, which is using the American nomenclature for the layers so looking at C for civil there we can see C topo for topology and inside of this we will find some layers and you'll notice specifically the minor and the major layers are shades of grey, 8 and 9 for the minor and the major respectively. Now a surface has a style attached to it, so you can either select a surface, this is the big surface over there, it's called the existing topology, and looking at its properties selecting that X topo surface and looking at the surface properties we discover <coughs> that it has some information within the style relating to the display and over here we can see the layers C topo minor C topo major Clicking on that layer will bring it up and you can see and recognize that C topo minor is in color 8, C topo major is in color 9. Just as the layer has been set up within the layer properties manager. The other surface that we have here is a road surface and this road or X road also has properties specifically this style over here and this style is called AC contour 0 0.5 and 2.5 because it's a road we'd like to see some more definition as opposed to, if we just select both of those, list them, and we can see the styles at the base, AC contours 0 0.2 and 2.5, AC contours 2 and 10 millimeters. So now we'd like them to look different, at the moment they're just using the default of the 8 and the 9 for the minor and the major respectively in colors, 8 and 9. We do that through the style. Now, it is possible that your Civil 3D might be using attached standards, in which case it won't allow you to change the style, it wouldn't want you to do that. So I always recommend, why not just duplicate this, start with a copy of the current selection. I'm just going to put my initials before that. And then override the color in the display tab. Color number 8 for the minor contour. I'm going to change to something else. So let's suppose we make them really different from each other. So let's go with a sort of a red on the one. That's the minor contour. Let's make it a bit lighter.
a major make that a bright red that's maybe a bit light for the minor let's go a bit deeper red okay. that's a bit too deep let's try that okay and we can then apply that and immediately you can see how the road has changed its display to show these bright red and pinkish overlays for that road. Similarly with the other style, I would recommend just to either duplicate or create a, edit the current one. In my case I just want to bypass the attached standard. So I'll copy the current selection name that appropriately and change the layer colors within the software that's minor and that's major and there immediately you can see now we have these different colors and it's much easier to differentiate between the surfaces and the contours from a design perspective. I'm definitely going to adopt this method of, especially during the design of a civil 3D model, to make it easier for myself to understand how the individual surfaces look before I paste them on to each other. And hopefully anybody else that has a look at the drawing can also understand the construction much more easily. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video and I hope that it also adds value to your work in Civil 3D, designing roads and surfaces or surfaces in general. Remember the overrides for the layers can also be applied to elements of or styles for different Civil 3D um, different Civil 3D features, I call them features, be that surfaces, alignments, whatever. So if you want to differentiate with between elements, duplicate the style and apply some new display settings. Until next time, good luck with your projects and enjoy Civil 3D.